Hey guys, my name is Antonio Arce from Innovative Business Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how you add a search option within an app in Power App. So in this uh, specific uh, app, basically we have an inventory of different products. Uh, and what we have is just a gallery with all the products. And the bottom here, we want to add a search, uh, a way that you know the user can just search for any given product and return and just narrow down your gallery so to do that <clears throat> by default you're going to assume that yeah your code is going to be on the search text box but no what we added here is a text box as you can see as a control this is actually a text input that you can add by adding it here and selecting text input as you can see, you can add this search. I'm going to delete this one since I already have one here. And here you can use your hint text to add search items. And that way, you know, you have a display text there. Now, uh, when you're adding a search, basically what you're adding is a way to run down the gallery. So really the code is going to be on the gallery, not on the text box. So that's the first thing that happened to me when, when I learned Power App. I was assuming that I was going to add coding here to search this piece. But, you know, Power App works a little bit different. You got to, you know, add the code on the receiver instead of basically the, the like, like you used to do in Visual Basic, for example, that you add a code and push a button and that button does something. In Power Apps, the object is the one, you know, acting and, and doing the, the action. In this case will be the gallery so if we select here the gallery here so make sure you got the whole gallery you can see it's a gallery selected and what we have here is that on the items that's really where you control that so let's go to items here select items i'm gonna you know i'm gonna expand here i got some other code that i can you know explain later in a different video for now let's just keep it simple and just add a search uh, option. So in the items, what I have as products one is really my SharePoint list that um, is our source. In this case, we what, what we want to do is search this SharePoint list based on whatever input we add in the text box. So the first thing you got to understand and search and get is you know, understand what's the name of, the, of that search box. So in the, our case, it's called text search box one. So when I go to the gallery, what I want to do is you use my search function and add it before my source. So you can, or, you know, if you're starting from scratch, you probably want to do this. You're going to see that, you know, while you're typing, the gallery doesn't know what to do. So it's you know not displaying anything. So you can use search. That's why you got search here. Now it's asking you for the source. You can see your you know your syntax of your formula here. So it's adding on the bold side. It's saying you know I'm you know what's your source? In my case, as we saw before, we're going to use products one. We select products one. We add a comma. Then what it's asking is you know you're going to search this source with what what's your text so my text is this text box but what we want to add you know is the text reading in there so what we're going to do is you know type in text if we recall it was called search box one right but in our case we want to search you know with search box one dot text right if you leave text search box one, uh, Power Apps will not know what to do because, you know, search uh, text box search one uh, have many different properties. So it's expecting to understand which one from these properties you want to you wanna use for searching. Then I can use another comma. I'm going to say uh, from my source was the column that I'm going to search for. In our case, the one we're looking for is called nombre, which is you know name in in English in Spanish. We call nombre here. 
as you can see, is going to be in the quotes. That's the one we want to search for. If you add, want to add a secondary, you know, uh, column to search, you can add it too, as long as it's text. For complex fields, it's going to be a different, a little bit different. But I just added a, a different, you know, comma here, so you can continue to add multiple columns and search multiple columns within the same text box that or text that you add here on the text box. So let's say if we let's see we got a description. Maybe we can you know search by a description as well and make our our search more robust. As you can see, I have a lot of of properties here. Let me see if I have a description field. And let's see, let's see, let's see. So you're gonna you know depending on how your chirp point got created, you may have some different things like this. Uh, that you know you, some specific characters, some titles uh, will get you know renamed with some characters that you know, for example, you know, sp spaces and all that kind of stuff will just get a, a character because it's a name and you cannot have spaces on a name. But let's say you know our our description is this one, and this is actually you'll see that uh, you have like a, in Spanish we got the acentos is like a power where you're, you're you know your voice is going to sound di different so since it's a special character uh you know power apps is going to display it with the actual an ax key code or you know something similar to that so in this case anyways uh in english you won't have any issues so so you can click description and now i got my my search working with descriptions as you can see, if you refresh it, you know, now we don't have an error, but we have a warning of delegation. Uh, later on, we can record a video on delegation, but w in summary, what happens is, uh, you know, we, you want to use your server side searching to return your queries. Because if you use your, your computer, right, or your device, then you're going to have some limitations in Power Apps where it returns up to, you know, by default, uh, 500 or up to 2,000 records only, right? If you had more than that, then you start running into issues. But for now, we're just keep it simple. It's gonna work if your data source is less than 500 or 2,000. If you wanna increase it up to 2,000, just go to File, go to Settings, go to Screen Size and Orientation, no, sorry, Advanced Settings, and this by default is gonna be in 500. The top that you can add here is 2,000, so you you may want to add 2,000 here, so that whenever you know your gallery searches for something, at least it returns 2,000 based on the on, on the search that was able to execute. Once you do that, you go back. And now let's try our search. Right, I'm gonna play this, and let's look for something that you know is not repeated that often. I think I got a four pack something. I can you know type in four space pack, and as you can see, this is just live and very fast. It's actually narrowing, narrowing down my gallery up to you know 79 things that contains four pack. I got one with corn. Let's see how many ones have corn in there. Oh, just one. Right, so that way your search works and you can just use it for whatever you need. Well, I hope you enjoy this video and it's useful for you. Um, we keep tuned. Remember to subscribe to our videos and we'll keep posting. See you in the next one. Thank you, guys.